Welcome back to the channel. Back with another vlog. Yeah, so we're, we're going to try um, a ghost hunting thing in a different block sometime. We've done it mostly at that one block there. Got some pretty interesting things on it. Like some stuff that was only caught in the video audio and I didn't hear it until I watched it back. So I started doing the Twitch sleep streams so I could catch some things I wouldn't see regularly from me just videoing. Uh, right. Very oh, keep it please. Mm. Yes. Well, the Quebec border is kind of open, but it's not like you gotta have like. Well, I don't know. Even I uh, heard uh, people from the reserve aren't even being able to go to school, and that's a big problem because across the bridge they have to go to the. New Brunswick, the Sugarloaf High School, because there's no high school across the bridge. They got per, they just got like one school that's like it's basically an elementary and middle school mixed together. But people who go to high school, who live across the bridge, they have to go across the bridge for that. Hey, like, that's ridiculous. I think. Like, why the hell? I heard. Uh, from someone who's who I know who lives across the bridge apparently that's what's going on it's pretty friggin insane you're denying people uh, friggin education because they live when they basically have to go across the bridge to go to that school pretty messed up like they don't have a high school across there Like even, even far further up, like uh, one of my friends Zach used to live. He used to live like right out. It was far out in the countryside of Quebec. Um, and like they don't have high schools there either, so you'd have to take the bus, and that would be like an hour bus drive at least. I remember uh, when I was uh, young, when I went to uh, the Camelton Middle School, because was, I, I lived in Flatlands, it was like a half hour bus drive each day, which is pretty crazy. <laughs> Usually people don't have to wait that long, uh, on a, have that long of a bus drive just to go to school each day and come back too. And going back another half hour bus ride. Pretty crazy that I have the school that far away. It's like a half hour bus ride. I lived that far away from school at one time. <laughs> but the place where Zach lived he wasn't, I don't think he was in high school when he lived there, but if you were in high school and living there, imagine how long that would be. That would be like one hour bus drive at least. Pretty insane. Like when, like usually if it, that was like a big city and it was that kind of distance, they usually have more than one high school in the city. But there, it's a big area, but it doesn't got a friggin' two high schools. In Moncton, they have, like, a, at least 
two or three or so. They probably have more, I'm not sure. But there's two or three high schools in Moncton that I know of. And got mud everywhere. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Two, three, there's two or three high schools at least I know of in Moncton. And, like, they should have that much in a high schools in a big area like that. Because then you have problems like that. People who live across the bridge not being able to go because they live across the bridge and have to go that far to go to school. It's not a big city, that's the thing. You're not gonna see. Crazy, sometimes it's a bigger area, but with a lower population. That's what tends to happen when it's that kind of situation. If it's a bigger area with a less population, you have less people, but they're living in, they're living further away. It's like the area that's just as big as a big city, but it's a less population, so it's just more longer areas than nothing. Especially uh, up flatlands area, it's only like a few people, not many people at all that live up there, but it's a huge area. Like, it takes, like, at least a half hour to drive up there. Yeah, that was crazy that time. When it was a half hour the bus drive each time they go to school and a half hour back. And the school buses, when it's like that, they come very early. Because they have to get you there in time for when school starts. So, <laughs> it was pretty, it was pretty bad. Like, I had to get up at like 6.30 a.m. each time to go to school. When regularly, people could get up around 7 or so. Like, they used to, like, it was crazy. Half hour bus drive. I was glad when that finally stopped. When my, when I, uh, my mom ended up moving into the city, so it wasn't that bad. like the country but if you're if you're that far away it tends to be heard you know like the perfect spot I found was like in half of the area it's almost like the country and it's close to the city too Like, you could get there from a 20-minute bike ride, maybe, if... But that area, who oh, flatlands, that's a half-hour car drive, not bike ride. It wouldn't even be, actually. It'd be a 15-minute bike drive, maybe a half-hour walk. But driving there, it would take you five minutes. Probably not even. And it was still kind of like living in the country. You could have, you could have campfires in your yard and all that, as long as it was in a proper fire pit and all that. Not like the deep country where you can have like huge bonfires, but you're allowed to have little campfires. I wouldn't doubt it. I probably have an older YouTube channel where I probably. I probably vlogged that, I wouldn't doubt it. 
But that channel, huh? I wouldn't even remember how to get into it. I probably don't even have password enough to pull it. And I didn't keep it on its note things. I didn't keep it written down. We tend to do that now, just in case. Yeah. Yeah, that was that was definitely a very bad moment. And, and but that with the COVID thing and they're not letting people from the reserve go to school. I don't even know if it's true or not. I don't know, it's Facebook, so I don't really believe anything off Facebook, you know. People's accounts uh, I seen some of my friends there uh, from uh, Camelton stuff. They uh, they got their accounts hacked on Facebook, and I see seen my friends' accounts being uh, posting uh, friggin' uh, Walmart gift card scams and all that. Ten, what tends to happen on Facebook because. Facebook's a very bad application, and it's not hard for hackers to get into people's accounts. And Facebook tends to be to let people do that stuff. Like, I've never even seen that kind of bad security on Twitter, and it does pretty much the same thing. Like, the most secure things, if you want to video chat and uh, have a secure platform, Twitter or Skype, Facebook, it's, it can be really, it can, it's not good at all. Like I see, I seen those scams too being left up for months. And if something like that happened on Twitter or something, it would be removed in a couple hours. I've seen a lot of weird kind of fake news stuff on Facebook. <laughs> like one that was saying um, it was going to become illegal for seniors to drive. It's ridiculous. And it never happened. It was that, that report was uploaded around uh, 2013. And I'm reading the report in 2016. I'm like, what the hell? They said that was going to happen. And no, it never did. So anyway, guys, I'm going to end off the vlog there. Hopefully you enjoyed. Uh, smash the like. And, and subscribe and check out my other stuff. Twitch, all my socials. Till next time, peace out.